Young people have mastered business and entrepreneurship, which ensures success towards their brighter future. In today's program, we have Coleman Okumu, the CEO of Colmo Fashions, to let us know more. Colmo, yes. karibu sana. Asante sana. So tell us, uh, yeah. what does fashion mean to you? Okay, tukiongelea mambo na fashion, mimi kama CEO Colmo Fashions, uh, nile ni art naweza sema ni art because uh, whenever na naweza angalia mtu jinsi ye amevaa so naweza mjaja dressing code kulingana na vile yeye yuko maybe occasion so mimi uchukulia kama art yes mm -hmm. mm. so fashion kwa kwa ni art eh, ni art mm -hmm. na ulianza yes. aje hii journey hii journey yangu imekuwa uh, ni kitambo sana i think nikitoka shule that is form 4 Uh, niliambiwa niongoje kwanza niende niliambiwa niongoje before ni ningie maybe university mm -hmm. so kwa hiyo harakati ya kuongojea nilijipata mwenyewe nimeanza kufanya business ndogo so i was selling mtumba mm -hmm. i was selling mtumba zile za kigomba unaenda unachukua at 8 bob 10 bob papiz So nikikuja naweza uza maybe at 50 mm -hmm. wale wenye wako na pesa niuzie 100. <laughs> <laughs> so wasema na judge bila yes, mtu yes, ameba yes, okay. Yes, 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 because you know, <laughs> unajua kuna wale wenye ukiangalia mtu hivi unajua huyo uh. huyo anakaa pesa fulani. Uh -huh. So kimwambia atakuzi hii tupata 100 bob ako sawa. Mm -hmm. At 150 ako sawa. Wale wengine kwa soko tunawapatia na 50 50. Mm. Uh, so nimefanya hiyo I think for almost 2 uh, years. Then from there nikapata kibanda so kibanda nimeka pale i think for almost another year then from hapo ndo nikafungua sasa shop mm. eh, so from hapo sasa nilikuwa na source nguo mpya nikuuzia clients wangu mm. yes um. umesema kitu fulani kimenifurahisha yes. unaangalia mtu na judge huyo utamuzia mia <laughs> lakini yeah. kama watu kama sisi hatupendi kuvaa shida zetu eh? At times naweza jua naweza jua uh -huh. because uh, nimekuwa na that problem unajua like kama uko kamega there is mm. this place called uh, Ikoloman mm. wana mine gold, gold uh -huh. you know those guys wakikuja kushopa wanakujenga kushop kama wamevaa tu nguo zao zile za kazi mm. so ukisema okay hapo pia judgment at times huh? sasa huwezi judge because wanakuangana pesa You know gold iko na pesa. So mtu akitoka pale kuchimba hiyo gold yake anakuja ku shop. So ukisema like huyu amekaa kuparara parara like hana pesa. Eventually anaenda up shop with even what 20,000. Mm. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Wow. Mm. That is an intriguing uh, method of doing business. Yes. But anyway, let's move on. So ni, what motivated you to venture into an often described uh, female dominated industry? Watu wengi wanasema fashion ni ya wanawake. Yes. You know, duka za nguo ni za wanawake. You know, ukiona beauty things like that ni mm -hmm. women. So yeah. what motivated you to join this? Industry? Okay, kumekuwa na that perspective yenye watu usema like maybe fashion things mm -hmm. zinakuanga seated na wanawake. But no. Mm -hmm. Another thing pia wanasema like uh, ladies wana purchase more than men something funny in my shop ni kuna outfits za men more than za ladies so ni perspective tu ni watu wamejiwekea but sio hivyo hii field ya fashion mtu yote anaweza fanya either wewe ni mzee wewe ni mwanamke wewe ni mwanaume wewe ni kijana una suit tu as long as unajua ku identify your right clients unaweza fanya that business yes mm -hmm. Ulisema kwamba hukupata nafasi ya ku advance in terms yes. of academics. Yes. Ni nini kingine ulikuwa unataka kufanya? Okay, initially mimi nilitamani sana ku join forces. Mm. Nilitamani zaidi kabisa. Though nika try nishaye kimbia kwa uwanja but <laughs> things hazikwenda vizuri. 
so ni kama ni ngie tuko fashion mm-hmm. yes okay mm. but uh, usiwe dream yako hivyo hivyo <laughs> you can be a consultant uh-huh. uh, you know the forces department mm-hmm. but anyway so mm. tuambie kolmo ilianza vipi uli weka hiyo brand yako vipi ulianza na mtumba si ndio yes, yes. na hapo kwa market obviously utaambia watu hapa ni uh-huh. kolmo fashions uh-huh. just uh, no 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 mm-hmm. so how did kolmo fashion start Okay, vile nimekwambia nilikuwa kwa kwa kibanda. Uh-huh. There is this guy called uh, Kids Camper. Eh, Kids Camper alinipata nikiwa kwa kibanda. So the guy alikuwa anatembea. So kuniangalia hivi akauliza like nani anaon this kibanda. So he was like ah ni wewe. So akaniambia like I want you to grow. So the moment nilifungua sasa from kibanda to a shop, niko na lazima nikuwe na jina. So from hapo so ni decide that call me fashions ianze na hapo mm-hmm. yes interesting that is a, mm-hmm. a true destiny helpers yeah. you know mm-hmm. watu ambao wanakushikilia mkono na kupeleka mbali Kabisa. even before you actually see the dream mm-hmm. yeah so umesema you did mtumba and uh, right now kwa shop yako you have for men and female clothing so yeah. what type of fashion do you do oh i deal with the uh, red meda mm-hmm. so those are gents and ladies the uh, two trousers jeans jackets is a outfit to zote but as I'm mostly the me base kwa teens huh? because unajua mimi naweza elewa ile vitu zenye ma teenagers wanataka because sasa unajua kulingana na age yangu naweza identify like outfits gani zenye you know wanataka mm-hmm. yes mm-hmm. yeah wow mm-hmm. na sasa hizi outfits where do you source them from Okay na kuanga na places tofauti mm. uh, Uganda mm-hmm. Uganda has best collection compared to Kenya I do the pricing ya yeah, Uganda maybe utapata iko juu mm-hmm. but kuna Kamkunzi kuna Isili so I mix huh? okay. na chukua those all stuffs zote so nazika under collection moja mm-hmm. yes na una una yonaje hii market is it uh, you know favorable for you mm, market okay at this time i think in an idea it is because of now marketing huh? mm. though it is tough because unajua competition pia imekuwa juu whereby at least unapata karibu kila mtu anataka kuingia into fashion but i'm doing it different huh? sifanye kama maybe hawa watu wengine so it is tough but tunangangana how different to be a siri how different are you doing it okay for for me na value sana my brand huh? mm. as colmo fashion zone. so <clears throat> i do a lot of marketing niko na brand ambassadors more than 10 wow yeah that's a sharp move eh? Eh, so these brand ambassadors are mostly wananisaidia ku push the brand yenye mimi na, na associate nayo na fashion so utapata hawa brand ambassadors ha? at least wana create your awareness ha? so that ku boost sales zangu mm. because you know when you are doing marketing sisi tunafanya marketing upate pesa <laughs> you really? una, una create that awareness uh-huh. na trust mm. yes mm. So, uh we've talked about uh, the the brand itself yes. uh-huh. so what activities are you involved in at Colmo Fashions okay Colmo Fashions uh, apart from uh, selling ready made uh, cloth mm. and uh, fashion uh, items uh, tunafanya pia branding tunafanya branding ya gari ah. tunafanya branding ya t-shirts hoods any type of branding pia tunafanya. Mm-hmm. Yes. Na how did you come with that idea of branding? Okay, idea ya branding ha, ilikuja time yenye nilikuwa nafanya marketing. At times uh, tungeitwa show maybe na maybe train maybe tumeitwa kama maybe masinde muliro mm-hmm. kama maybe sponsors. So kama kuna kitu kama maybe fashion show unapata tuna brand ya maybe our t-shirts ha, labels ha, za Colmo fashions. Ha. Mm-hmm. So through hiyo ku brand still pia tunaweza brand tukiuza mm. so hiyo ikakuja hivyo mm-hmm. yes mm-hmm. wow mm. so in addition to fashion what other activities unafanya Ume, umeongelea events is yeah. it something you also do yeah tunafanya ngizi my event management mm. at times maybe kuna kitu kama maybe a fashion show utapata maybe a new station itakuja to approach so ituambie tupatie ni budget 
tufanye maybe kitu kama hiyo so tuna have to provide uh, MCs au ma DJ mm-hmm. na vile the whole event vile itarun mm-hmm. yeah so people who want to take part kwa kitu kama hiyo unaka kuwa MC MC hapa is it something <laughs> yes, yes, you yes, do yes yes yeah uh-huh. i do MC you can hype us up there's a hype askia sauti yako ni mtu ambaye akiingia kwa event we will start yeah yeah energy na kuwa mbaya yeah, sana yeah, yeah, yes. uh-huh. so with the energy what does mm-hmm. it take to have to become an event organizer Okay mm-hmm. inakuanga ni trick sana because at times unajua ku win mm. unajua packaging you must have a nice packaging because uh, mtu ndiye ku trust because unajua events ya pesa kidogo okay. so at times uh, unaenda kwa mtu anajaribu kuambia like what can you offer so anajaribu kuangalia like wewe ni nani mm-hmm. unaweza offer aje so ni packaging yako vile umeji package because ukiambiwa mtu like sisi tutakuja tafanya hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi tuko na record zetu tumefanya kitu fulani maybe place fulani 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 so hapo at least ndio unaweza win kitu kama maybe event mtakwambia kwambia okay sasa manage maybe event kama hiyo though it is hard because sio rahisi mm-hmm. yes mm. na many young people wameanzisha biashara solely to make a living mm-hmm. eh? is mm-hmm. it how you started or what would you say you know has been your drive uh-huh. to start this Okay for me I think niliona kwa okay nilianza from small naweza mm. sema ni ni small huh? because uh, unasikia anga zero support yeah. lakini ile kitu yenyewe unafanya but unaifanya na passion huh? then eventually unapata imekuwa successful as long as unaka hiyo energy kuna hiyo passion na everything inakuwa ikiwa sawa unapata iki Mm. It's no longer about making a living. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. unapata like uh, ni pole pole uh, and then at the end because unajua kama ni kitu unaona like ni passion, no? Mm. Uko nayo ndani yako. So na na kuna pia hard working. Mm. See at like ni ile tu unaka like uh, umekatu hivyo na ngoja ikam hapana. So unapata kuna hiyo hard work, kuna hiyo passion. Mm. Ukizmix kio zote mbili unapata everything inakupoa. Mm. Mm. Uh, ulisema kwamba your your business is mm. solely carried by branding. Yeah. yeah. So mm. how do you manage competition in the market as in Kakamega? So unajua when it comes in uh, fashion uh, na hiyo competition uh, for me naweza sema when it comes in marketing uh, mimi nime invest in marketing. Mm. So na nilikuwa nimekwambia kwa marketing si tuna market tupate pesa. Yeah. Nile trust uta kwa pale mtu akwambie ni aje ni kwa Kamega naweza shop wapi so kama uko na trust na brand yangu utanirifa utanifaria customer mwambie like hapana this guy yako na vitu fulani fulani enda kwa kola yeah enda kwa <laughs> so mostly mimi upata referrals huh? mm. na hiyo ni out of uh, na marketing because unajua mtu mwenye amerefaliwa like enda place fulani anakuja na kijo like maybe uko na vitu legit un exist mm-hmm. because unaelewa pia kwa social media sasa hii watu ni wengi wenye wanauza some ni wakora so kuna ile trust in what una build eh? so that at least to make sense that is profitable yeah. and so speaking of referrals and the community mm-hmm. how is the reception of the community about you venturing in fashion as a young man uh sio mbaya mm-hmm. because uh, i feel uh, wale ukuwa ukuwa na positive ha? eh kulingana na what we do kwa society because uh, at times tukiwa na like i think last last year tumekuwa na nini yao street street kids ha? to organize something ha? at least tukule nao kitu cha chapo eh chapo Chinoana, fest eh chapo fest uh-huh. so that at least tunaona like uh, these are the, okay hawa ni watu wenye tuko nao pale so unapata most hiyo interaction nao na hao pia sio mbaya yes wow mm. and uh, ulisema kuhusu support ya familia ilikuwa imeshuka kidogo yeah. do they support you now now that you have your own business yes they do support me uh-huh. unajua at first nikianza business ha? Mm. kuna ile yenye like mtu hayuko sure kile unafanya <laughs> ushaona that situation yenye like unafanya tu business lakini mm. hauko sure like hii business yenye unafanya ndio umaamua ama sio hivyo but i think by now mm. kuna that full support huh? mm. eh, from family friends so na hata mtu ku post to your products that is a support yeah. 
eh, si lazima akupatie pesa ama fanye anything sana kuzo kio kwa social media na uko na followers wengi the moment una post item yenye maybe mimi nauza that is a support so support na jua iko kwa wingi both family friends wote what about uh, challenges changamoto umepitia gani and how did you manage okay challenges zenye sisi ufesa mm. maybe ni time ya marketer unajua market time fulani unapata sales iko chini sengine tunasikia vizuri so okay tukiwasikia vizuri tumenyamaza but tukiwa kubaya unawika <laughs> tunawika <laughs> then so inalingana na hiyo vile ina fluctuate mm-hmm. i love pia times kupata sasa mzigo you know like at times kienda maybe mali kama Uganda kuleta mzigo hizo road blocks mm-hmm. maybe kuingia sisi ni wafanyikazi ni okay like tuna deal na maybe na goods zenye ni kiasi but sasa the moment labda umebeba so unapata maybe kuzi transport kuleta paka huku unapata inakuwa ni hada mm-hmm. so those are maybe some challenges labda naweza sema nimepitia mm-hmm. yes na ume manage na nime manage yeah. Yes. Yeah. ulisema kwamba ulianzia mtumba ya chini ukaenda yeah. kibanda ukaenda yeah. duka yes. so how do you plan to sustain your business in the long term niko na ile maono like na feel like uh, for the next 10 years ah mm. haitakuwa kolmo vile iko sahihi eh niko na bigger ambition zenye na na feel like uh, e fashion industry mm. the little maybe is miaka kama tuseme 11 years ah zenye nimekuwa ndani kuna vitu zenye nimelearn kuna experience yenye ni makwaya mm-hmm. so ni ku double up na niongeze nikifikiria jani yangu ya mbele mm-hmm. na mshoe itakuwa poa ningependa kuiba hiyo knowledge yako ya what you've learned yes, through this journey uh-huh. naweza kuwa maybe nataka kuanzisha biashara yangu ya nguo mm-hmm. naweza nataka pia kuongeza viatu hapo kando ni nini uh-huh. ambacho naweza niambia step 1 do this step 2 do this step. yeah okay kitu ya kwanza ni discipline mhm you need discipline unajua sisi kama vijana wengi tunakosa discipline utaka wende upige sherehe <laughs> unaona yani like discipline tu yako first kaje naweza kutaka ku advise kabisa ni discipline mm-hmm. alafu ukiran any business hata kama ni ya njugu hiyo pesa yenye unashika sio yako unafuku na that principle kujua like hido ni ya business lakini sio yako so ile ile yenye unafuku angalie pesa ndio hiyo unaiona but how it will kwa vitu zingine mm-hmm. so naona mm-hmm. so ukiwana hii that discipline yenye unajua like hii pesa ni yangu mm-hmm lakini ni biashara mm-hmm. you see then unaweza maneuver kwa business easily so because ukiuza kitu ikuje na profit hiyo profit ukileta utaleta kitu kingine ikiwa mbili so na leo mm-hmm. but also ukiuza that wewe ndio umekula umefanya nini like unatumia pesa anyhow ni then kurich hiyo goal itakuwa ni ngumu sana mm-hmm. yes so discipline mm-hmm. yeah. discipline yeah. yeah. sir so, What if niko na discipline? Uh-huh. I am disciplined with the money lakini haivani. What should I do? Haivani aje. <laughs> maybe I don't have a good strategy, a marketing strategy or maybe I'm not meeting the right clientele. Mm-hmm. So what should I do? Okay, pia unajua marketing, huh? mm-hmm. marketing watu waogopa because it is expensive. Mm-hmm. Na uh, watu fikiria like ukifanya marketing sahi, mm-hmm. utaanza ku receive maybe sales zako zikiwa juu pia sahi. No. Mm-hmm. Unaweza market for uh, kama 5 years ah. Mwaka wako ya sita ndio baby unaanza kuona hiyo matunda ya marketing yako. Unaona? So pia kuna ile uvumilivu, utulivu lazima ukae kwa industry, unaona? Ama maybe location labda penye umeka business because at time unaweza kuwa maybe umechukua pesa yako nyingi. Mm-hmm. Maybe purchasing place you make purchasing power yake iko chini. So pia unafaujua like business penye umeweka purchasing power yake ikoje? iko juu ama iko chini location so kuna vitu zenye pia unafaa kuconsider kwanza ndio ingie kwa hiyo business mm-hmm. e ufanye research one like e business ina ka suitable ama iko tu hivyo okay yes mm. kuna kitu ambacho nakiaminia sana mentorship mm. yeah. yeah is it something you went through kuna yule ambaye unaona biashara yake iko vizuri sana unataka kuwa kama yeye and would you advise anyone else to do such a thing okay mimi mwenye mimi mentor sana anaweza sema ni my dad Mm. My dad uh, yeye ni farmer na mostly mimi wana Kenya anafanya ni will and inspire. Hiyo kwa mkamapema mm. unaona despite hiyo age 
amke mapema aingie kwa shamba afanye fanye vitu zake unaona mm-hmm. so at the end utakuja kuangalia like kuna mahindi ndio hii kuna maziwa you see so the fact that anakuwa mzee si hata anakuwa mzee pia akisumbukana mm-hmm. anakuwa mzee akipanga vitu vile amejipa amejipanga so ni hiyo tu hard work na hiyo ni msipaya kabisa mm-hmm. eh so hata bila utakanisha life kaya yake being mm-hmm. a young person eh? mm-hmm. often inakuja na a bit of uncertainty in decision mm-hmm. making yeah. sijui nifanye nini kama mm-hmm. ulivyosema mm-hmm. uh, umeanza kitu but mm-hmm. you're not sure kama utakiendeleza hadi mwisho uh-huh. so what can you tell someone in pursuit of their dreams mm-hmm. Lakini hajui anze wapi ama anaendelea vipi. First kaje nataka kuambia msemo wenyewe ni miang pale mm. na anataka kufanya any business. Wengi kwa hiyo business. Mm-hmm. Inge kwa hiyo business. Na nilikuwa nimwangia kuhusu discipline. Because uh, ukisema like unatafuta labda business yenye ni kubwa na hii ndogo unaiavoid at times itakuwa ni ngumu. Hiyo ndogo yenye utaingia ndani uanze kufanya uko na discipline o save pesa kama ni kidogo because ukiamuata sasa hivi una save 10 bob 10 bob 10 bob within a year kutakuwa na some difference utajua like hiyo pesa itabaki ikiwa hiyo 10 bob within a year kama ni daily una save itakuwa ni figure fla so na still bado kuna time ya kuishi so the moment wewe unaishi na whatever una save uko na discipline ya ku manage pesa yako na everything business will grow unless labda unafanya ile business uanze ungie kwa business maybe ukiwa uh, time yenye okay like maybe majukumu yameingia maybe umoa unaona kuna watu wengi tutakuwa anza kufanya business unaona so ina maanisha like pesa yako nyingi kama business ni kidogo pesa yako nyingi utakuwa unatumia kwa expenditures so leo ulipe nyumba ufanye nini na nini na nini so kama umamu unataka kuingia kwa field ya business anza mapema mm-hmm. e, anza tu mapema ukifila kuna kitu kingine ni unafanya unataka ku venture into business anza your time mm-hmm. speaking of familia yes. kuna wengi sana mm-hmm. wadogo wamepata watoto yes. bado ndoa iko uh-huh. hivi hivi uh-huh. what can you say about that as a young person in business and uh, hoping for a better future unajua mtoto ni baraka uh-huh. so kama wamepata mtoto ina maanisha like see at always find anything kuna kuangana ile kwa accept like sasa mimi nataka nianze from this point unajua wengi wengi will feel like mimi maybe nilifika maybe university siwezi ingia kwa street nikauza mayai siwezi kuza smoky siwezi kuza njugu unaona but ile knowledge yenu uko nayo ni great kuli kule mtu mwenye ajakanyaga shule mwenye nataka kuanza from scratch unaona mtu wa maliza paka university ya mshua like unaweza manage finance yake fiti so akipewa business hata kama ni ya 10000 atajua kumanuva ndani paka vile tatu atatoka yes wow so aanze tu aanze tu eh, aanze tu aanze tu eh, asiogope eh, asio majukumu asio yes eh. yeah and uh, mm-hmm. current situations like mental health issues mm-hmm. unapata maybe family imeingia mm-hmm. mapema mm-hmm. ujua uanze wapi mm-hmm. hauna biashara kazi uh-huh. ni kidogo uh-huh. yeah and unapata mental health inakuwa issue eh? uh-huh. Maybe have you been in such a situation and how did you manage ama mtu ataweza tokaje huko Okay miss jai kuwa huko mm. but ni advice ule mwenye labda hapo huko mm-hmm. eh hey, unajua one thing about uh, hii maisha tunaishi mimi na believe tunajua sahi but hiyo kesho sisi tunapanga mm-hmm. unaona so wewe uh, ukiwa kwa maybe any problem kama hiyo uko na opportunity au fa yuka hapo wewe unje vitu vijisolve zenyewe unaona so, kama uwezi fanya business eh? kuna kazi yenye unaweza fanya unaona kwa sisi si, si, wote hatuwezi fanya hatuwezi kuwa kwa field ya business mm-hmm. eh, kuna ule mwenye endi mwandi kifika unaona atalipwa eh kama shara kataingia unaona so pia usikae tu like umekaa because like now things are not working na eh? tafuta job eh hiyo kidogo ndio itakusustain yeah. na uta move because hiyo kidogo kama uko na okay wengi uliza like capital utapata aje unaona yeah. for mimi nianza na capital yenye nikaanza mtumba capital ya around 
It's not like right now and I manage stock around 1.7 mm-hmm. so hiyo kwanza hiyo kidogo kwanza hiyo kidogo yes thank you so much kolmo yes. kolman ya yeah, uh-huh. kumu yeah. nime appreciate sana your knowledge and mm-hmm. your wisdom mm-hmm. yeah your journey has you know impacted me in some mm-hmm. way mm-hmm. so nashukuru sana asante hata uko nje julize mm-hmm. coleman from mm-hmm. 7000 to one point mm-hmm. alifika aje mm-hmm. ametuambia discipline mm-hmm. be disciplined anza usiogope kuanza hiyo business unataka usiogope kwenda nayo si kila mtu atakuwa mwanabiashara tafuta ile kazi iwe ndogo iwe kubwa fanya and trust me success is always behind that door This has been Youth in Action. I am Nyangweso Grenis. See you next time. This is the way to do it. This is the way to